Yo, King AK47, Voice of the Streets, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. So, uh, you know, I've been waiting on other people to speak, but I see ain't nobody else gonna speak, so I'ma just speak. Now, y'all know I ain't did a live in eight days or, or, or a video in eight days, so just make sure y'all tap that like button one time for me and comment to get me back in the algorithm because I know I ain't in the algorithm. So a lot of people want to update on the me and THF Bezu thing. Um, ain't no update, bro. I'm going to just keep it all the way 100 on how everything happened. So, you know, he made a public post. He called me out for a boxing fight. So I immediately accepted it. I went live and everything. Now, the thing y'all don't understand is me and Zoo, we can't um, have a conversation. We just keep yelling at each other to the top of our lungs. You feel what I'm saying? So what happened is, is that I got Cleveland Street Boxer 216. Hulk, you know, I got him speaking for me. And basically, I sent him to Hands TV. Now, how I knew about all this was through Hands TV. And shout out to Hands TV. You know, stand up, stand up, dude. I ain't got nothing against Hands TV. You feel me? So, uh, you know, <coughs> the initial fight, <clears throat> I, I was expecting it to be in Chicago. Nothing was never agreed on, but I'm just like, if you want to box, you know. So, as I'm talking to somebody else, I get another DM from Bezu on some ultra grizzly shit. Nigga, I been, and I ain't gonna disclose everything I was said, but I been wanted to whoop the whoop. I even come to you. That's what he said. He can't deny that's what he said. That's what he said. He said he ain't even come to me. So I'm like, are oh, you on that? Fuck, we gonna do it in Cleveland, Ohio, downtown. You feel me? So I tell this to Hands TV. We gonna do it in Ohio. Um, Zoo already accepted it because he said he'd come to me. So, okay. I tell, you know, my boxing train, because, you know, uh, Hawk was going to boxing train me. I tell him, we're going to do it in Ohio. So I'm doing live streams, right? I'm bringing up promoters. I brought up a whole lot of woods. I brought up everybody. I'm talking about how this going to be big for the city of Cleveland. You feel what I'm saying? I I'm doing giveaways there. We're going to have food. I'm just thinking it's going to be a secure environment because I'm going to make sure it happening in Cleveland. I'm going to make sure everybody go home. Like, I don't got control of the whole situation, but the people that I know and who behind me, we can have control over the whole situation. It ain't like we'd be public, because if we're going to make this a public thing, a public event, you know, you would never know if one of they ops want to slide in the rack. It ain't about really my set. There's theirs too, wherever we at. You feel me? Y'all really don't want to be outside with y'all location on anyway. So it just made all the sense for it to happen in Cleveland. And he said out his mouth, I'm going to come to where you at. So Hans TV said it's going to be March. You know, he came up with the date March, which is fine because, you know, if y'all was on the Instagram live, uh, my boxing trainer and all them, they was basically saying we need a few weeks to get in shit, you know, because we're going to make this a big thing. I ain't just about to box nobody with the gloves. And, and I ain't, you know, I'm still smoking, so I need time to stop that, stop drinking, and we're going to get it together. You feel what I'm saying? So I go live. I'm live about it uh, a whole day. He watching the lives. I'm, you know, I'm talking my talk. I'm 6'1", 230. He like 5'5". Five, five. I just feel like he was too little for me, right? Because a dude my height, I ain't fighting. Y'all can call it what it is. But for him to challenge me, I was just so thirsty for it. Because I'm like, what? This is a total mismatch. You feel me? In a boxing fight, you might as well want to do a street fight. You feel me? So everything is set. It's going to be late March. You know, Hands TV. That's why I respect Hands TV. Because he already knew we was going to need some time. It's going to be in Cleveland, Ohio. And we're going to box for the money, right? Nigga, I go to sleep and I wake up. Zoo on a whole nother thing. Now, mind y'all, I done bought up half my city. Promoters. We getting it going. You feel me? I'm about to get ready to call niggas to call off work. If if you got to work, March, you know what I mean? We good. This nigga Bezu going to DM me and say, no. Nah. We gonna do it in Chicago. Since you made your living off Chicago, we gonna do it in Chicago. And yeah, we gotta fight before the end of the month. So I told my boss, they just said, leave it alone. He don't wanna fight. Who go into boxing and think about it, y'all? It's only 28 days in this month. So you expecting me to box you 
in two days, for real, for real. Because you said before the end of the month, before you get on the road. Nigga, you not the A side of this, nigga. I'm more relevant to you. Your music don't do nothing. You feel what I'm saying? You you dirks right here. Like, you, you not, I did this by myself. You're not relevant. You're not more relevant to me. How you going to just change everything? And then, you know, they telling me, a nigga with them type demands, know it ain't about to happen, bro. And this is where I'm more confused. Booney, Lo, Booney Mo just did a, uh, 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 Booney Mo just did a show in Cleveland yesterday. Dirk just posted that he gonna be in Cleveland today. So now I'm thinking to myself, damn, nigga, if all your niggas out here, let's say, let's say, forget the days part, right? Let's just say, all right, we agree to fight two, three days. Why the hell you ain't just come out here? They all out here, bruh. So I feel like, for one, I looked at stupid on IG Live, you feel me, doing all that promoting, bringing up all these people. We trying to make this a big event. Everything set in stone just for you to switch everything up the next day. So I just was like, man, this ain't real, bro. And then I'm looking. He ain't made a status or AK ducking and shit. Nothing. It's almost like nothing ever happened. So I'm not about to be no toy for no nigga that felt like he was just going to bully me over the internet and make me look bad. You feel me? That's what I think this was all about. I don't think it was never supposed to be no fight, no boxing fight. I don't think it would. I just think, you know, he was mad. You feel me? And he got in his feelings and he wanted to fight at that instant. But what no fight ever going to happen? I don't believe he ever had the intentions to fight for real. Because you ain't even said that. Like, I just left it alone between Hands TV and Zoo. I, once he said that, and I said, but you said you would come to me, though. I don't got time for no lame-ass excuses. I just don't got time. Man, I'm 33 years old, bro. It's either we going to do it, what we agree to, or not, bro. So, I ain't even want to waste my time on this video, for real. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's just a bunch of waste of time, bro. It was just a nigga mad at me who said, like, you ain't make one post since, nothing. And then I go to your story, you posting about other shit. Like, no, what happened to that rampage you was on for two days, bro? You was on the ramp for, the, for that whole day. Now nothing happened? So I guess we just going to act like none of this ever happened, man. But I'm very disappointed because... You know, when he said he'd come to me, I, I was trying to put on the city of Cleveland as well, you feel me? And and I just feel like if you did, never wanted to come to me, why you just didn't bring up none of that in the first place? You feel me? Why you didn't bring up, oh, yeah, let's fight before I go out of town at the end of the month, get back on the road? Why you ain't bring none of that up at the beginning? Why did it take you a whole day to come up with this? You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't get it. Why, why you even make it public? You feel what I'm saying? Why you just didn't DM me, look, I want to fight. You feel what I'm saying? I, I don't get it. You made it public. You was talking your shit. I accepted it. Behind the scenes, we agreed the late March. Um, You said you would come to me. So I said, fuck it. We going to do it in Cleveland because that's where I'm at. If you come to me, that's what that means. Uh, Has TV on board. I'm on board. Hawk from Boxing 216 on board. We all on board. You told me to hit up Hands. Hands hit me up. You told me, let's put it together. Hands put it together. And then the next day, you come with a whole different story. And, you know, I, I just, it's straight BS, man. But that's all I got to say about it. I'm done with the situation, and it still wasn't going to change my mind. Whether he won or I won, my mind wasn't going to get changed. So we were really fighting for nothing. You feel what I'm saying? Because I still feel what I feel, and I still believe what I believe. Period, bro. And like I said, man, I just feel like, I just feel like I was played with for a whole day. Like, a nigga got in, you know, a nigga got mad and this shit wasn't never gonna happen. Who the hell about to go into a boxing fight in two days, bro? You talk about for the end of the month, it's 28 days in this month. You say this shit on like the 23rd, 24th. You know that wasn't gonna happen. How, how I'ma get niggas ready to go out there? Niggas be working, all type of shit in two, three days, bro. Like, come on, bro. But that's the latest on that. I just feel like he was bullshitting it. He was mad, you know, rightfully so. He was mad. And, you know, it is what it is. So y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video.